Hello boys, Texturman is back. Today we are gonna do something a little bit different. In previous tutorials I show you how to create automotive studio renders like this, but today I'm gonna show you how to scratch these materials. As always, you can download 3D files from my tutorials on my Patreon page, and when you become a member on Patreon, you will be able to download each month new 3D models and 3D scenes as well. Link is in the description. Alright guys, so this is how it looks in the key shot with basic material. This material is really easy to set up. You can use this paint, shiny paint gloss material. And we need to change these two values. So we are going to make sure this is completely black color. And we need to make this rim a little bit more rough, something to like this. And this is basically brand new rim material. If you want to create scratches on this rim, we need to follow a real life workflow. We need to create base material, which will be something like aluminum or chrome. And then we need to apply layer of paint. And that paint will be this paint gloss material. So first step is to create our base material. And we are going to use this chrome basic rough material. We are going to make this material a little bit more shiny something to like this and this is our base material so i'm going to make it a little bit more closer something to like this and i'm going to double click on this material i'm going to open my material graph and now i'm going to create the first layer of paint so let's let's find again this paint gloss material and just drag and drop this material to the label and this is our first layer Double click on this material, make sure it's completely black as before and make it a little bit more rough, something to like this. All right. And this is how it looks, brand new rim. And now we need to create something like worn edges. We need to create the brand new texture. We are going to use these curvature. We are going to put this curvature into the opacity slot right here. Double click on this curvature, press C on your keyboard. And now we need to change few values. So we are going to make sure this is completely white and this is completely black. And all the white parts will be paint gloss and all the black parts will be chrome material. So when we turn this off, you can see how it looks. It looks a little bit artificial, so we need to change it. So I'm going to double click on this again, and I'm going to make this a little bit more like this. Actually, I'm going to press C so we can see what's going on. This was before, and when you are going to change these, you can see it's a little bit less visible. So I'm going to use something like 1.5, and I'm going to turn this off, radius in pixels. And I'm going to use something to like this. All right. I'm going to try this. Actually, I'm going to use this and I'm going to make these samples 12. All right. I'm going to press C on my keyboard again to turn this off. And I'm going to check how it looks. And you can see it looks a little bit more visible but it's too much artificial so we need to fix it and we need to blend these bl paint, uh, paint gloss material with some scratches so let's open material graph again i'm going to bring here some texture i'm going to use this one all right and now we need to combine these two textures together so i'm going to click on this line i'm going to utilities create color composite and i'm going to bring these to source alpha now you can see how it's changed and I'm going to double click on this texture and press C on my keyboard. I'm going to scale this texture a little bit up and I'm also going to play with this contrast and brightness a little bit. So I'm going to use something to like this, maybe even more. And I'm going to use contrast like this. All right, this is too much. So I'm going to use less brightness. And I'm going to press C on my keyboard again. And now you can see it looks much more better. 
but I want to create some more scratches on these flat surfaces right here. So I'm going to use exact same steps. So I'm going to bring another texture. All right, and I'm going to click on this line and create color composite again. I'm going to bring this texture not to the source alpha, but to the background. Double click on this and use this as multiply. And you can see this is too much. So we need to invert these colors. So I'm going to the utilities and I'm going to use this color invert. Now it looks much more better. So I'm just going again play with this texture. So press C on the keyboard. And I'm also going to change this DPI to inches. And I'm going to scale it a little bit more up. Also, I'm going to use much more bigger brightness and much more bigger contrast, something to like this. And now you can see we got some scratches on these flat surfaces. That's really good. And now uh, the last step is to create some kind of bump map. So I'm going to click on this and this, and I'm going just to use show only. So these parts only will be visible. All right. So let's create the BAM map and I'm going to the material graph again and I'm going to use this first texture as our BAM. So I'm just going to drag and drop and put this into the slot of BAM. All right, you can see this is like too much. So I'm going to click on this map. I'm going down and I'm going to make it smaller. I can also see this is in the opposite direction. So I'm going to use this negative value. And I'm also going to make it much more smaller. All right. And I also want to use this one as the bump map. So I'm going to combine these together. So again, I need to click on this line. Go to the utilities and create the bump add. And now we can combine two bump maps. So I'm going to drag the second to the second slot like this and it's too much so i'm going to double click on this texture and i'm also going to make it a little bit smaller so something to like this and now you can see how it looks so i'm going to make this a little bit more organized and now you can see it looks really realistic and that's pretty much it. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you like it. And if you got any questions, let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support me, hit the subscribe button and like button. And if you want to download this 3D model or this 3D scene, check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a nice day and have a nice render. Bye bye.